culture. Culture includes knowledge, belief, art, law, morals, customs, and other capabilities and habits acquired by a man as a member of society. We cannot write about a black culture without knowing the grassroots, which is the history of Olu Morok, which tells us about how Eba was coined out. Hmm, Eba culture, Olu Morok. Olu Morok in 1980, in 1830, served as a hideout for the Eba during the war between Eba and the Taume of Togo between 1830 and 1833. The war lasted for three years. The name Eba was carried out of a word, Ebawa, which means save us, please. Why Oluwara comes from saying that Oluwa, Lufiwa, Alawa, Mosidi, which also means God has limited our suffering to this place. The Oluwara was discovered by an altar farmer called Adam. Where's that word? He was so brave that only him could make it to the rock and back home alive because it was surrounded by a thick forest inhabited by white animals. Olu Morok was controlled by two different communities called Itoko and Ikija. A lot of things are under the rock, among which are Eba hideouts, Olu main shrine, holes, shrines of the gods, and statues of past warriors and kings. The Olu main shrine is opened once in a year, precisely 5th of August, and only two and only two persons are allowed to enter into it which are the paramount rulers, Alaki of Ebala, and chief priest Abore. The rock is worshipped for two days, 5th to 6th August. In the past, human beings were sacrificed to worship it, but due to civilization and religion, Olu Morod had to make animals for the sacrifice, such as black cows, guinea fowls, and all the things their human eat and they are used to appease the rock. Some people use years of clothes to worship the rock. According to the paramount rulers, the rock is worshipped 